In this video in particular, we're gonna teach you guys how to lay the base of the retaining wall blocks. This is the most important part of your wall, and if you screw this up, the whole thing is gonna be messed up. First thing you wanna do is make sure you excavate your area properly. In this case, we used a 40 inch ditching bucket. We dug this out, so we have plenty of room to work down in here, and we dug down 16 inches. That allows us for 10 inches of base and one block buried below the surface. Depending on your wall, depending on your situation, depending on your geographical location, they may require different bases around here. They say a six inch base is what you should use. I don't feel comfortable with that. I go 10 um, and sometimes we'd even, if it was a bigger wall, it's gonna have more weight. Sometimes we'll even go a little bit more, but this wall is only about five foot high and it's only 13 foot long. So once you've got your area excavated, like I said in our, in our situation here for this project, it was 16 inches. So we dug down 16 inches. We used our reliable laser level here, made sure we were where we needed to be. If you don't have a laser level, you can use a tape measure, a string line with a line level on it. You can find your string line, your line level at Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those places. Um, but that's going to be your best bet if you don't have a laser. A lot of places rent lasers, so uh, if you don't have one, may look into renting one. It makes things a lot faster. But like I said, once you get your area excavated, then you need to bring in your 10 inches of rock. For us, that was our case. Um, we brought in our 10 inches, and then we make that level. We check that real good, again, with our reliable laser level here. Make sure everything is where it needs to be, and then you're ready to start laying your base. When you're actually setting your blocks here, what we use is a little, what they call torpedo level, or small level, uh, it's about a foot long. And then you use a dead blow hammer. This is a four pounder, you can use five, you can use, there's three, there's eight, there's 10, there's all different kinds. Uh, I feel like the four pound gives you, gives you enough oomph where you can make it move a little bit if you need to, but it won't move it too much, so it kind of keeps your base where you put it. But basically, you'll check your level. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time, so I usually start whacking on it before I, check my level but you'll check your level so I can see on this one the front sides a little bit high here the bubbles leaning towards the front and then here it's about dead even which side to side it should be pretty much dead even for most of these because that's what the trains is for we go through and do that prior to make sure whenever we set these blocks down we don't have to move them a bunch of times and it's barely high on the front so I should be able to hit it a few times here moved a little bit but not quite enough so what I'm gonna do is raise the back up shove a little rock under there and hit it a couple more times we should be good to move on to the next one all right guys and that pretty much wraps this one up hope this video helped you out if you're looking to learn how to lay retaining walls this is a great start uh, we'll take some practice we'll take a little bit of experience to get good but this should give you a good foundation like I mentioned make sure you have the correct base and make sure you have the correct leveling tools whether that be by hand the old-fashioned way with a uh, some kind of line level and uh, string line or if you have the more advanced stuff like this laser level that will help you out but either way just make sure that you have a solid base and you should be in good shape if you're not following us on Instagram and Facebook be sure to head over there and check us out we post a lot of our day-to-day -day stuff there so there's a lot of good information there as well as here on our YouTube channel and if you're not subscribed here on YouTube be sure to hit that subscribe button you can also hit that little bell and it'll notify you every time we post a video we're gonna be posting a lot of videos here going Going through fall so you may want to hit that bell and get notified every time we post one and give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one